Ideal Gas Law 2. Calculate the number of moles of gas in a 3.24 liter basketball inflated to a total pressure of 24.3 psi at 25 degrees C. Note, the total pressure is not the same as the pressure read on a pressure gauge such as we use for checking a car or a bicycle tire. That pressure, called gauge pressure, is the difference between the total pressure and the atmospheric pressure. In this case, if the atmospheric pressure is 14.7 psi, the gauge pressure would be 9.6 psi. However, for calculations that involve the ideal gas law, you must use the total pressure of 24.3 psi. In this problem, we are given that we have a pressure that is equal to 24.3 pounds per square inch PSI. We have a volume that is equal to 3.24 liters and we have a temperature that is equal to 25 degrees C. And we're asked to find the number of moles of gas in the basketball. In our conceptual plan, we realize that in using the ideal gas law, there are four variables. In this case, we're given three of the variables, pressure, and we're given volume, and we're given temperature, and we were asked to use them to calculate the number of moles in. So we have a single relationship or equation to use which is the Ido gas law. Which is PV equals N R T. which will solve for moles. Number of moles is equal to pressure times volume over the gas law constant R times temperature. Now we have to remember that pressure must be given in atmospheres and we are given a pressure in pounds per square inch. So the first thing we need to do before substituting is to convert the pounds per square inch to atmospheres. And we can look up that conversion factor in a table, but in doing so we will see that our pressure, which is 24.3 psi, and we'll convert that to atmospheres, 
say one atmosphere is 14.7 psi. The psi's cancel and we have an answer in atmospheres which is 1.6 Five, three, one atmosphere. Of course, this number is actually only good to three significant digits, but we're not going to round yet. We'll just kind of remind ourselves that we have three by putting a, a line underneath the five, because if we were to round now, it would influence our, our final answer. We also have to use temperature in kelvins. So we have to convert our temperature, which we have as 25 degrees C, to kelvins by adding 273, which gives me 298. Kelvins. So now we can substitute our pressure that we'll substitute is 1.6531. Again, we'll underscore the 5 to remind ourselves that this is really only good to three significant figures atmospheres. Our volume is 3.24 liters. Our gas law constant R, which we can find in a table of constants, 0 0.08. Two zero six liters times atmospheres divided by moles times kelvins times our temperature two ninety eight K. So atmospheres cancel, the kelvins cancel, the liters cancel, and we're left with moles. Our answer is 0 0.219 mole. And we should always check to make sure that this is reasonable. We know that if we have one mole of gas under standard temperature and standard pressure conditions, which means that we have a standard temperature of 273K and a standard pressure of one atmosphere that this gas will occupy 22.4 liters. Now in our problem we have a pressure that is substantially higher. It is in fact 65 percent higher than standard pressure uh, resulting in a smaller volume so we would expect that our number of moles should be lower than one so the answer of 0.219 mole is quite reasonable